When it comes to WWE 2K20, a lot of people have their requests that they want for the game. There's a lot of features that people want, whether it be GM mode. I mean, heck, I even made a video about GM mode and how I'd love to see that in the game. But there are features that I think are currently in the game that just need to be improved upon and made a little bit better so that the future of the WWE games franchise could be better. One of those features we're talking about is sort of a update from the previous feature and also kind of a new feature, and that's talking about crossplay and the way that community creations are used. Now, I know what you're saying. Crossplay, I could play with Xbox and PS4 people. Well, that's not really what we're talking about. What I'm talking about is community creations. Now, community creations is what keeps the game going when the game is kind of out of content, as we will call it. Once all the DLC is done, once everything is put out there, all we have is community creations from the guys like Defract to make their cool creations. And then from there, we can play the characters. We can get updated tires. We can make cool arenas. We can get all that cool stuff. Go on to community creations, download it. Good to go. The problem with this is that there are different creators on the PS4 and on the Xbox and on the PC that make this very hard to get all the best cool creations. What I think should be done, which is similar to the way Fire Pro does it, and I'm going to count back to Fire Pro because the developers of the WWE 2K series and the WWE 2K franchise need to look at Fire Pro and they need to look at the features that they have in their game and make it viable for their system. Now, if you're not familiar, the way Fire Pro does it is you actually go to their website. Uh, it's called the VPW, FPW, excuse me, Net. Fire Pro Wrestling Net. And you go on there from there. It'll open up a web browser. You actually subscribe to the characters, the arenas, the rings that you want. And then when you boot up the game the next time, they'll be in your game just like if you went and downloaded the community creations. Now, this kind of feature should be implemented into the WWE 2K franchise. What needs to happen is you need to create a central hub. Now, this needs to be created separate from PS4, separate from Xbox, separate from PC, just hosted on the 2K servers so that when you go ahead and upload your created character, arena, ring, whatever it may be, you can go right over to there and it'll actually connect to the 2K servers so that you can download the creation that you need. Again, the community is the reason that this game thrives after all the DLC is done. And you have some really great Xbox creators and you have some really great PlayStation creators, but they don't get to overlap there. Could you imagine if we could take those both, upload them to the 2K servers, and then download them on any console that you want? That's where the crossplay is coming in. It's not the fact that you're going to be able to play with your friends on whatever console, whatever you want. What you really need is the ability to do that with uploading and downloading created superstars. Now, I do think that the creation suite is getting deeper and deeper. And now let's be honest, some of the creations that people make are just as good, if not better, than the creations that they release as DLC and a part of the game. I mean, you look at some of the guys that are made. I've seen Young Bucks creations, right? that are just as good as anything that WWE 2K scans in the game. Literally, so good. So I don't think we really need to improve on the creation tools. I think they're giving us a lot of tools. They're adding new features. They're listening to that community, that creation community, and giving them those tools to make their superstars, their created superstars, their creator wrestlers look exactly like they should be. They look exactly like their counterpart in real life. What I do think needs to happen is I do think we need to curate the content a little bit better, right? I saw this on Twitter and uh, I don't know the name of the person that tweeted, but they said, why is it that when I search Stephanie McMahon, I get a bunch of other creations that aren't Stephanie McMahon? Well, the reason you're getting this is because it's called tag spamming. Now this is done on YouTube and it's done on anywhere that searches are done, but at most prevalently happens in this game because people put different tags in there to get their community creations shown. They'll make a really cool creation and they'll tag it with someone that's popular in the creation community, tag it with a popular wrestler, whatever it may be, that's what they will do. They will put that out there and they will tag them and that person will get shown up in searches for other things that aren't even related. Let's say they make, uh, they want to make a throwback creation, right? Let's say that they make 
I don't know, the big boss man from the 80s, right? Just throwing something out there. Big boss man from the 80s, right? But they'll tag it with like Daniel Bryan vegan or something. Not saying that Daniel Bryan vegan or whatever, but just new Daniel Bryan or Daniel Bryan or something. So when you search Daniel Bryan, you'll actually see this big boss man alongside. What needs to happen is we need to curate the content a little bit better, 2K. And I think this is where it comes in. You need to hire somebody in the community. You need to hire somebody that's going to be able to search these or find these creators that are very, very good. And even if you see them, oh, well, this guy's rising in creations, right? Because he's making a lot of good stuff. A lot of people are downloading him. Well, let's feature him. What they need to do is they need to have a featured section on the community creations that will have these really good CAW creators on there. Put them all in their own section so that you know when you're going to download, you're going to get those quality creations. And that's going to be really good because, again, this is what's going to keep people playing your game is those quality creations. So you have those. Plus, I feel like you really need to divide it based off a of wrestler. I feel like the data that you can get is you should be able to tell if it's an alternate attire for a certain wrestler. Now, I know the tags are the reason why you get it. If you search Stephanie McMahon, you'll get a bunch of other people that aren't Stephanie McMahon. But what you need to do is if you know the body, the model of the person is actually Stephanie McMahon, only show those models in the game. And then you could search by ranked by most recent, by top downloaded, by top rated. I think you should have a rating system on there. And then that would keep things very, very fluid and very smooth when it comes to it because right now it's a crapshoot to try and figure out what is what what is real what is not what is that so if you're doing alternate attires you should have that set up also with rings you should be able to do that like money in the bank ring if you use the money in the bank logo in game then it'll be a money in the bank arena and then you'll know that that will be in the game the only thing that i think could happen with the arena and the money in the bank logo is yes you could use that logo and it would go to that arena but if some people try and hide that logo over their logo, it could show up in that arena and not in the right way. But I do think this is something that they really need to take a look at. And they really need to see like how the community loves the creation aspect and how the, the CAW community keeps the game going long and long and long. What I would actually like to see here, which is probably not going to happen, but I'd like to see some sort of a uh, tipping system, some sort of downloading system, some sort of like system similar to the way I know Fortnite does it, but they have a creator program, right? Why not make a creator program for the WB games community? So if people are downloading your CAWs, you can earn a little money back on all the hard work that you're doing, because this is the way that you look at it. They're literally putting out free content, getting paid nothing and people are just downloading it and playing with them and making videos and having a good time and streaming on Twitch and, you know what? It's it's cool. It's cool. So I think if you make a creator program as well, so you can show off these people, at least put them on the front of community creations. Hey, this guy is a really great creator. So why don't you feature him? And again, if you get a new person coming in, that's kind of rising in the ranks, whether it's ratings, downloads, views, whatever, make that guy a featured creator. Again, this all starts with that cross play aspect that I talked about where you're getting the very, very, very beginning stages of this where you create your guy and you upload it to the 2K servers so that anybody on Xbox, PS4, and PC can download it and play as it. And I think that's just that's just key when it comes to this. I think that W2K has got to look at this and they've got to know that this is something that's keeping their game going. The community is keeping this going. And I know that they feature some of the stuff on Twitter and Instagram, I think. But that's just not enough. That's just not enough. What you need to do is have community creations front and center. They used to do this before where they'd show like trending ones on the front. But then it'd be like wrestlers that weren't a part of the WWE. And it would make the WWE kind of, it's like, yeah. But it's a video game. So uh, really what they need to do is just feature those creators that are making good content. They need to have the cross-play aspect where you can download from any console, same creations. And then you need to just update the way the creations are curated because right now, as it stands, it's very, very bad. Tags are the only way to curate it, and that's not a good thing because I could just put Brock Lesnar on, let's say, my created superstar, and then people would see it, and they could download it, and it's not a good thing. Or just tagging somebody else. Let's say that I make creations, right? I make a lot of creations. Then people start using the hashtag Tony Pizza Guy. Well, 
their creations are going to show up like I made them. And it's just, it's just not a good look and it can be very confusing. So anyway, guys, I want to know your thoughts. If you are a community creator, if you make content, if you're a CAW person out there, let me know what else you'd like to see in this. And as always, I'm Tony Beats Guy. We will see you in another video.